Welcome to the first World of Warships video from the Noble Q, and in it I'll be looking at the Tier 4 premium Japanese cruiser, the Yubari. Hello there, and you will have recognised quickly that this is not World of Warplanes, and that is not an aircraft. What that is, is the Tier 4 premium Japanese cruiser, the Yubari, in the waters at Sarushima base. Before we talk more about World of Warships, you may be wondering what this means for my World of Warplanes content, and at the end of the video, I talk about that. So, let's come back to World of Warships. The first thing to say is that this is not a review video. I've only been playing World of Warships a few days. I'm not in a position to analyse the characteristics of this ship, nor compare them to other ships. This is by way of introducing you to World of Warships content on this channel, and I hope this will become a fairly prominent feature in 2024. Those of you coming from World of Warplanes who may not know ships will nonetheless recognise many of the elements here. For instance, here we have a commander, crew in World of Warplanes. Down here we have equipment, which I've mounted. We do have signals, which is slightly different. We have tech trees. So, for instance, here's the Japanese tech tree. The ship doesn't appear on that because it is a premium. And although it says equipment here, this is, to me, modules. And this being a premium ship, we have them all already. But on tech tree uh, ships, you will have to grind a few before you can progress to the next ships in the line. Many of you will already know that, so I'm not going to dwell on that. What are you about to see? Well, you're about to see my very first Tier 4 game in World of Warships. And bear in mind, I'm still in what's called protected status, which means that I'm facing players of similar uh, ability, newer players in other words, for the first 200 battles, and I'm still within that limit at the moment. So it's also a benign battle, but nevertheless, I thought you'd be interested to see how I'm doing. So, without further ado, let's go and see that battle. So here we are. Tier 4 battle, it's on the Solomon Islands map, not that I recognise those at the moment. This is a domination battle, which means if you look in the bottom right corner you can see three sectors, a little bit like conquest mode in World of Warplanes. All of those sectors are equal in value, however, they don't vary as they do in World of Warplanes, and we need to hold some of those, all of them, for longer than the enemy to acquire influence points which go towards winning the battle. Of course we can just destroy the enemy team as well. If we look at the order of battle, I mentioned in the previous section on protected mode, I've seen up to three players in my battle so far. We've only got one here, he's in the Kuma which is the fourth ship down under the red side and that's uh, a torpedo cruiser so I need to watch out for that. It goes by the name of Custom Dealing Auto which sounds like his business and I hope it's going well for him. So let's get underway and we'll move forwards. Let's speed it up a bit. I'm heading towards Sector A, and we found Custom Auto dealing immediately, so my priority is to try and take out the human player, because in theory it should be easier to deal with bots. So we're using HE on that cruiser, and there's a good chance of getting fire. I have got AP shells, and I've also got torpedoes on this boat. AP shells I will tend to reserve for firing at battleships, currently. See the lead I'm giving and I'm using my right mouse button to zoom out to see if I've got any threats which I haven't detected coming towards me. Meanwhile we're going to continue to try and pummel this guy. He's got the same intention of course. Now I did just see on the replay there are torpedoes in the water. I didn't see them during the game and I should have this is something that will come with more experience. And he's going to run into the border of the map, and that's going to give him a serious problem, because it actually is difficult to extricate yourself from the side of the map. So he's now stuck. And some good shots on his bow, which tends to have weaker armour than the central sections of these low-tier cruisers. Look at those torpedoes again, which I have failed to notice in the game. He's trying to reverse, but he's not going very fast, so I just basically aim at the middle of his ship. And I'm going to have an enormous slice of luck in a moment or two, and you'll see why. Suddenly I get the warning about the torpedoes, and they're on me. And I can swing round, I'm going to make one miss, but... Nothing happens. What happened there? 
Well, I think what happened is that the torpedoes were just at the limit of their range and they defused and sank to the bottom of the sea before hitting me. What a stroke of luck. The other possibility is that they were deep water torpedoes and I can't actually be hit by those torpedoes. I suspect it's the range. Either way, I was a lucky boy there. Now, in terms of the battle, we've got rid of the human player and it ought to be much easier for me from here on in. One thing I have noticed is that the bots are terrible at aiming with their guns, although they do have torpedoes, which can be pretty inconvenient. But my bots are not fighting particularly well against their bots. And the score currently is 160 points to 265. Now, we've got plenty of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this sector A and capture it. Although that wasn't really part of my thought process. It's only recently in subsequent battles that I've begun to think, hang on, I'm now fairly good at fighting, but I'm not very good at winning battles. I need to capture sectors as well as destroy enemy ships. Nevertheless, that's what we're doing at the moment. It takes a minute to capture a sector Also, In the meantime, I can actually do work with my guns. We've now captured the sector because there were two other ships in here, so sector capture, I guess, was a lot quicker, like it is in World of Tanks. taking a pot shot at the battleship. To do that, really, I should have switched to AP. I'll probably turn my attention back to the cruiser. And I probably did that because there was a ship in the way, although my shells probably would have flown well over it. Friendly damage is off in this game. But you still don't want to be shooting at your own teammates. Now I'm looking to line up the torpedoes. There's a grey aiming stripe. I'll line up the green aiming indicator with it, and I release my torpedoes be interesting to see whether they connect or not. There's plenty of time for the enemy ship to take avoidance action, but one thing you could do with torpedoes is perhaps force a ship to deviate from the course it's taking into one that's more suitable for you and your team to hit it with guns. So basically use them as interference. Experienced players probably won't use that aiming technique as much. They can do it by eye and they probably feel it's superior to do so. And as you can see, the ship has turned. Those torpedoes are now going to miss. However, that also means that this ship has fewer guns bearing on me. So in that sense, it's been worth doing. Now, I have noticed this um, set of torpedoes, two sets of torpedoes aimed towards me. I'm going to straighten up, make sure they're going to go past me. And then I'm going to swing to port so that I can shoot at this ship with um, all of my guns. Then that ship goes. Swinging around, looking for the next target. Looking to see if I can lay torpedoes in. I believe that's a pair of battleships. And... If I'm using the guns on these, I ought to be using AP in my, as, as far as I know. I'm forgotten to do that. I've released torpedoes, however. We'll hope that they connect. My own teammate is in the way, so I'm going to swap to shooting at the other um, battleship for a moment. I think we're just about to find that those torpedoes have hit that battleship. significantly less health I believe and now we can think about firing more torpedoes at it because it's beached or we can just keep pummeling it with the guns it's an easy target reversing takes a, t a time you need to try and avoid doing that fairly obviously you're much slower in reverse reverse so I release torpedoes here and we'll see if we're lucky whether they land this battleship is not aiming at me so I fire more salvos at it now I swing round again whilst the torpedoes are loading and also to avoid shots from this battleship. The torpedoes are coming into sight now and it looks like I may not be lucky with most of them. One connects, nearly finishes the battleship off, the other three goes harmlessly by. I can 
continue to deal damage and to take that battleship's health away and we've done it and we should be able to capture this sector see uh, another ship heading towards me Not sure if they had three battleships. That's another battleship. I'm going to see if I can release torpedoes. There we go. What I haven't noticed, and which I'm now going to have to start noticing, is the fact that the enemy have got a ship in Sector A, which is our sector. Now, we do have a ship there, but if that ship loses the battle, then that uh, enemy ship can capture that sector. And given that the enemy already has Sector B and C, C that's going to put us in a lot of trouble. Too wedded to watching my torpedoes here, not watching the battle. Fire and forget, that's what I need to learn with the torpedoes. Get more damage there. Still firing HE, should be firing AP, I'm fairly sure. I'll need to check that. And what's happened now, I didn't notice it in the battle, I'm looking now, that enemy ship did dispose of our ship in Sector A, and is busy capturing Sector A, and we're going to be in a whole world of trouble shortly. Try and tee up more torpedoes here, now that the battleship is closer, it will struggle to avoid torpedoes if I can get them released. The angle's not suitable at the moment, so I swing around to try and create one. See the grey aiming, grey aiming stripe. I'm going to try and line that up with the green one. I take a huge whack from something. Get my torpedoes away, and I use my repair kit. And I don't think that battleship's going to be able to avoid all of those torpedoes. Now I need to swing about. Try and avoid being shot by salvos from the battleship. And it's a perfect strike. Nearly. Three out of the four hit, but three out of the four was more than enough. Now I need to go and try and deal with this cruiser. We've only got cruisers left. The cruiser in sector A, and the points total is going against us very badly here. I'm the last one on my team. It looks like I'm going to have to kill all to win this. Fortunately for me, He's dawdling in there. In fact, he just started reversing, so my shots miss. I'll be looking to try and line up torpedoes, but I have to be aware, and I was aware of the ship behind me, which meant that I couldn't afford to remain static and sailing in a straight line for too long. No chance of shots there. Continue to pummel this with HG. Now trying to line up the torpedoes. Don't quite manage it. Clumsy. Very aware of shots coming from the ship from behind me, so I keep moving around. That's not conducive to me aiming the torpedoes. Watch the smoke on the funnels. He's now started moving forward. I could see that anyway, but it's a good tip to see if the smoke suddenly changes direction. You know that the ship has changed direction much more quickly than just by looking at it sometimes. Again, trying to line up the torpedoes. It's not happening. Don't want to shoot my torpedoes into an island. Realise I'm being shot at. So I revert to using the guns. And as you can see, the score is rapidly mounting in their favour because we have no sectors. And it is going to be a, question, a case of killing both these ships to win this battle, or it's not going to happen. Nice fire. Use the repair kit, and the moment I use the repair kit, my steering is knocked out looking very awkward at the moment. And I'm quite fortunate that I knocked out the enemy human player at the start of the battle. Had he still been in the battle right now, he'd have a huge advantage. We destroy that ship. That's the third ship we've killed in this game. Moving around, still trying to avoid being shot by this last remaining cruiser. In fact, that's the fourth ship. I've destroyed. 
So it's me and him, and he's got loads of health. Now, you can't see it because of the Kofi tip banner, but I can see it. He's got 16,000 health, and I've only got 8,000. So basically, I've got to outgun him. It's a bot, so I've got a fair chance of that. But better yet, land some torpedoes on him. At the same time, I've got to avoid any torpedoes that he may release at me. Keep swinging the ship about between shots. Try to keep looking up as well. These torpedoes all go harmlessly past. That's disappointing. However, we're now getting to close range. I've got 10 seconds to torpedoes. Need to be aware that he could fire torpedoes. And if he hits me with torpedoes, it's game over. And he has released torpedoes. It's close. It's tight. But the manoeuvrability of the ship saves me. I'm able to manoeuvre around the torpedo. It just misses. And now I can release torpedoes at him. And off they go. Now I'm looking for another shot. But if those torpedoes hit, I probably won't need them. And they do indeed hit. And I'm pleased with that. Even though that was a protected battle, I still needed quite a bit of skill to outmaneuver the bots. And there we have 105,000 damage. I'm reasonably pleased with that performance. It didn't look like we were going to win. There you have it. My first game at Tier 4 in World of Warships, and I'm enjoying this game, so it's likely there will be more content on World of Warships on this channel in the future. What does this mean for my World of Warplanes content? Well, not a lot. I'm taking a short break from the game as I speak in January 2024, having spent a long and hard time grinding the Christmas 2023 event for the Moonbat. However, I will be returning to World of Warplanes, I will continue to produce content for it, and it will remain my main game for the foreseeable future. So if you come here for that, worry not, there will be more content for you coming during 2024. Well, I hope you found that interesting, and that if you did, you'll come and see my future content. But until then, this is the Noble Q, signing out.